Hi, I'm here with Helen from Blue Crystal London. Firstly, congratulations on your award. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Amazing. Could you just possibly delve into your business and what services you offer? Um, We look after properties. We're a property management company and we have a lot of expats, um, tenanted properties. We have loads of second homes, people who don't live in London and they're barely in London. And we also have blocks of flats. So we look after like the uh, communal areas and um, we make sure properties are safe. Yeah, so you say you work in London. What sort of districts and neighbourhoods do you cover? We cover all of London. Most of our properties are based in West and Central London, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Because we are based in West London, we're in Chiswick, and they are closer to us. Mm-hmm. People tend to go for their closest agents most of the time. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And what's your typical clientele? Um, our typical clientele are actually they they really care about their property. They don't mind spending the money mm. on their property and making sure everything looks like lovely and in some ways perfect and um, and they've got the money to pay for it yeah so obviously you are saying how they have the money to pay for it how do you ensure that the highest quality is always provided with these sort of clients um we always work with the best contractors out there in the market we also speak with the contractors in detail and update the clients every every step of the way and um, also we check the work detailed every step of the way and then report to the client in the end as well we check the end results we make we we want to make sure we look after them as if it's our own property because i call myself a property mother yeah so we like we see them as our like our children we mother them Mm. yeah absolutely i feel like that's so essential especially in like this sort of property management sometimes they can sort of neglect tenants and stuff how do you ensure that you avoid this what sort of measures do you take we always well we, we most of the time we select the tenants actually we pl- we have in the property so we select the best tenants available because we know we'll be working with them for a you know perhaps a few years to come and they have been selected through like referencing we get a feel for them it's very important actually i, I know it sounds Maybe, you know, not, not so important, but you get a feel up for a person. Are they professionals? Are they nice to deal with? You know, et cetera, et cetera. Obviously, if they have the means to pay, you check their references, they get credit checked. So, and we are very lucky. Our tenants always pay, yeah. never any issues. Like, they're nice to deal with. Yeah, amazing. And how could potential or future clients find your services? Um, our future clients find us, um, well... They are referred to me through friends and people I know, also referred to me by my current clients and they tell their friends and family and they come through that way. And also we are easily found on Google. Um, We have five, five star reviews and people come through Google as well. Yeah, amazing. And do you have any exciting future projects in line? Um, We are always expanding. So um, we'll be adding more to our team and growing gradually. And we are taking on, we're constantly taking on new properties. So it's always exciting for us because there is constant growth happening. Constant growth, yeah. And what was your sort of overarching mission for starting this business? The starting reason or mission of this business was I remember one of my friends said to me I said I I want to start up a business I don't know what to start and she said you're very good at property maintenance because you always get it done really perfectly and it always goes well and she said you never stop talking about property it's always property you talk about so that I thought I can I could see my strength and I also come from a family of developers Mm. so you see my blood so hence I went in that direction. Yeah, amazing. Is there anything else you'd like to add? No, I yeah. just would say, um, you know, I appreciate the award. Absolutely. And I am honoured. Thank you for having me. No, thank you so much for speaking with me. And again, thank you for coming and congratulations on your award. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. So